Monasticism. To escape the busy city of Alexandria, a group of Christians led a community to the Egyptian desert. This marked the beginning of the monastic tradition. In the first 200 years of Christianity, some Christians had lived as hermits on remote islands or in deserts, spending their time in prayer. In 269, an Egyptian hermit, Anthony of Thebes, brought several hermits together to form a community, the first monastery. This idea spread to other countries where other monasteries and convents were established. Some of these communities were linked by shared sets of guidelines. The most famous was the rule of St. Benedict, founder of the Monte Cassino Monastery in Italy around 529. In the Benedictine order, monks worked and worshipped together. By 900, the other orders had appeared. The Cluniacs in France... Uh, followed strict rules of poverty and chastity, reacting against growing corruption in the church. The Cister Cistercians, founded around uh, 1115, were even stricter, with some monks spending all their time in prayer and administration while lay brothers did the heavy work. St. Francis of Assisi founded the Franciscans to preach and care for the poor, and St. Dominic founded an order devoted to preaching and teaching. Monasteries and Society Life in the monastery was spent praying, sleeping, and working. Each monk or nun received food, a room or cell, and a habit or clothing, and they were provided for all their lives. This was more than most ordinary people had, so there was no shortage of new members. Although monks and nuns lived apart from the world, monasteries still played an important role in everyday life. Seats of Learning the best way to get an education was by joining a monastery. Monasteries had libraries of classical and biblical texts, the basis for much of the learning of the time. Great works were written by monks, such as the Venerable Bede, famous for his History of England, which was completed in 731. Some monks stayed in the monasteries, and some became parish priests, while others became clerks to kings and bishops. Most monasteries provided shelter for travelers and pilgrims. They also cared for the poor and treated the sick with medicines made from herbs from the monastery gardens.